Okay, so in today's video, we are reviewing Apple's all new, or latest iPad Air, also known as the M2 iPad Air because it carries the M2 chip or the 2024 iPad Air or the iPad Air 6. Either way, in this video, we are going to go over the reasons why this is the iPad that you should be going for. Let's go ahead and jump in. First things first, the main reason why you should buy an iPad Air 6 here, as opposed to an iPad Pro with the M4 chip is M2. If you are a gamer or if you happen to be into, I don't know, video editing, or if you undertake a lot of heavy, highly focused, singular tasks, then the iPad Air might just be the one to go for. It is a super powerful tablet and it will come with the vast majority of the you know bells and whistles that come with the iPad Pro, with the M4. One of them being the support for the Apple Pencil Pro. Don't get me wrong, I still hate this, but either way, the stylus does come with enough features for me to go ahead and forget about that tapping sound. But anyway, so the M2 is the main reason you should go for this one. The support for the Apple Pencil Pro is the next reason you should buy this tablet, right? Because you'd still have access to the same accessories that the iPad Pro has access to, right? Well, except for that new magic keyboard, right? That's only compatible with iPad Pro, but I digress here. The next thing is going to be this display. It's beautiful. It's really nice. Now, of course, it's unfortunate that it's still 60 Hertz, but this witchcraft, whatever they do that make it so that it doesn't feel like 60 hertz it's actually buttery smooth right and even though this is a low latency you know stylus it still works very well here on that 60 hertz don't get me wrong i would love for apple to finally finally join the bandwagon and make its mid ranges you know at least 90 hertz refresh rate but you know either way we're stuck with 60 hertz but still it is pretty good. Now the tablet itself looks just like last generation, right? The iPad Air 5 with the M1 chip, it looks just like that. But Apple actually has increased the size up to 11 inches on here, as opposed to 10.9 inches that we had on the past model. The display is still IPS. You have an IPS LCD here, 500 nits, so it does pop. It's not necessarily the 1600 nits that you have with the iPad Pro, but Image quality does pop here. Colors are pretty vibrant. And it's really good for navigating the internet, reading and things like that, watching movies, watching videos also. It's pretty good. Personally, I prefer a different aspect ratio. If it weren't for that aspect ratio, it would be perfect for me. But, you know, despite that aspect ratio, again, that's just my preference. Some people like it. I think it's a very nice device to enjoy entertainment or to consume entertainment. As far as gaming goes, I think at this point we are hopping into performance. As far as gaming goes, zero issues. I mean, it plows through heavy games like there's no tomorrow. You know, heavy tasks, heavy games, no matter what it is, it will work through that stuff without any issues. So even though it's supposed to be Apple's mid-range, it actually performs like a flagship, you know, on the Android side, right? In terms of just power, just raw power. But we also know that raw power is not everything. If you happen to be in the market for a tablet and you are neither loyal to Apple nor Android, then, you know, you need to take a careful approach at what you're looking for, right? So you figure out first what your needs are. If you are looking for something that is just raw power, because let's say maybe you're gonna be doing video editing and things like that, then the iPad, you know, Air here is definitely a nice pickup. In fact, even if you're looking to buy an iPad Pro with the M4 chip, I'll still say consider the iPad Air here, right? Now with that said, if you're looking for something that is flexible, then you're gonna be doing a lot of multitasking and things like that, then you may need to take a look at what Android has to offer, what you can find on the Android side. In terms of physical features, since we just talked about the size of the tablet here, you do have some pretty decent speakers there. They sound okay, right? They are decent. They definitely are fuller. I you know, wish they were crispier in terms of sound quality, but still pretty good for enjoying entertainment and things like that. You do have, of course, Touch ID here, as opposed to Face ID, which is what you have on the iPad Pro. So Touch ID, it's very fast, it's very secure, you know, for you to unlock your tablet and be good to go here. On the back of the tablet, you have a 12 megapixel wide angle camera, and on the front, you have an even better camera. You have a 12 megapixel 
ultra wide angle camera that does support center stage. So it has that ability to auto frame, right? These are some pretty neat features. When it comes down to battery, battery life so far has been excellent. I have no complaints. I don't anticipate the battery to go bad. I still have my iPad Air 5. Battery is still pretty good on that thing. I anticipate that battery life here is gonna be just as good as that. So that's another thing you don't need to worry about. In terms of the configs, the iPad Air here comes in 128 gigs of internal storage. That's the base. And of course, that's with eight gigs of RAM since it's now carrying that M2 chip, right? Eight gigs of RAM, 128 of internal storage, you have the ability to go for the next one, next config, 256 gigs. Keep in mind that you do not have the ability to expand that internal storage, right? So if you were to buy the base 128, like what I have here, that's all you got, that's 128. You can use, you know, external storage and things like that, but whatever you buy is exactly that, minus however much the system, the internal system, you know, eats up. And the camera is pretty decent in terms of quality, right? You get some pretty decent pictures. These are not the cameras that you're reaching for in order to take your favorite pictures that you're gonna post on Instagram, but quality is definitely pretty good, especially when it comes down to documents and things like that. And it also supports 4K videos. Now, with all of this said, here's my take. I think this tablet is the one that the vast majority of the population should go for. A lot of people buy the iPad Pro with the M4 chip and barely touch two, 3% of what the M4 can do, right? And of course, don't get me wrong, if you just like it, by all means, right? Personally, I advocate for people, if you can buy something that you enjoy just because of the way it looks or just because you feel like buying it, go ahead, you know, go for it. But on this channel, because I try to recommend you know, for people to go for value. A good chunk of those who watch my videos are people who are looking to make a decision on what, you know, device is going to provide them with the most value. And in my humble opinion, the iPad Air here, the new one, definitely provides more value than the iPad Pro to the average consumer. Of course, you will find a very tiny minority of the population that may be able to tap into more of the you know, power that is provided by the M4, but most people won't even hit, I don't know, 15, 20% of what this thing can do. As I mentioned, if you're looking for something that is just powerful, can plow through stuff, this thing is good. If you're looking for something for gaming, this is also a very good device for gaming. Watching movies, as I mentioned personally, I prefer a different aspect ratio, but watching movies here, image quality is good. Im images are sharp, right? And colors are pretty vibrant. So definitely something that I would recommend, especially if you happen to be in the Apple ecosystem, right? So I'm making this video, not necessarily for those of you who are already anchored in the, you know, in Android, right? Or in Samsung or, you know, whatever, or Lenovo, whatever it is. I'm making this video for those of you who are maybe in this ecosystem already and are currently considering picking up either this or the iPad Pro with the M4 this would be the way to go unless of course you you know have that extra money that you want to go ahead and pick up the ipad pro and it's pretty awesome tablet too i made a full review on that so make sure to check out that video anyways let me know what your questions in the comment section do you agree with this do you disagree i would love to get that little you know discussion going down in the comment section i'm going to catch you in the comment section like i always do make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so hit both the like and the subscribe button there i truly appreciate it I'm going to catch you in the next video. Up until that next video, of course, as always, stay safe out there.